ladies and gentlemen. It is um, four minutes past ten on Thursday, 21st of April. Uh, apologies of absence. Apologies from Peter. Um, would somebody like to propose those, please? Proposed by Michael. Seconded by Stan. All those in favour? Carried. Unanimous. Thank you very much. Also on the board. Right, declarations of interest. Has anybody got a uh, yes. disclosure pecuniary interest they may have in respect of any items on the agenda? Stan, yes? Yes, yeah, I have um, five. Number five? Yeah. Okay. I know the dentist for everyone, and it's my dentist. So, person known, yeah? Yeah. Um, number. Um, Little three within by Mr. S. Morse. I he does some work on, on the film group with me. With I don't know him that well, but some. I'll put notes in then. You're yeah. noted in, yeah? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> right, okay. Um, known to or associate with. Have you got a definition of whether that can be voted on or. Mm. Because they've made a, an interest, declared an interest. Um, oh yeah, theaters. you can, I was going to say, that's the point actually. Yeah. You, can, you can take part in the discussion, not but you're not going to vote. Okay. I'm going to. So, that means then. I'm going to say nothing. It's not, in, it's no, not in quorum for those no, items. No, so <coughs> we'll, have to, we'll have to not do those items. Yes, so we'll have to scrub those. Yeah. 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 Unfortunately, so, um, any other interest that may have in respect of any items on the agenda? So, in view of the fact that both Michael and Stan have um, declared uh, an interest in item 3 and item 5, I propose that those items are deferred, if possible, we get an extension until we have... I can try, yeah. these are already on extensions. Yeah. unfortunately. Due to that interest being declared, we won't be able to vote. So I propose that we screw up item 3, second one, and item 5. Okay. All those in favour? Carried. Yeah. Okay, minutes from the previous meeting. Uh, has everybody read the minutes from the previous meeting? Mm -hmm. um, any questions or Problems arising from those minutes? Do you want to propose again? I wasn't here. No, you. Oh. <laughs> again, that, oh, that, we have to suspend the standing order to. Um... <coughs> Accept these, I believe. Well, if you think about it, Vince, it's always going to be the case. It is until we get five on it, to be fair. Mm -hmm. We need five on it. That's, that's my personal view, um, because if uh, we don't have continuity, then it's just going to be a case of this. We might have, like, many people who weren't here when that meeting. Yeah, yeah, yes. But if you've got five, then you've got a chance of having three. Yeah, we've still got a quorum here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there is that possibility. But I, do, do I have to stand? Suspend standing order so that we can propose them. If propose them in a second now, and then you and then. Okay. Second. Well, well, I can't. I can't. So, um, no, I'm you you can you can have but say. That, but that's going to be the case if if you had a full a full. Yeah. Uh, no, Vince could Vince can um, propose them. Michael can second them. Yeah. And you abstain. Yes. Okay. I propose. <coughs> Seconded by Michael. All those in favour. Um, two, four, and one abstention. Yeah. So you need to sign. <coughs> Thank you. Thanks. Right. Sorry, I wasn't going to say anything until what that 
correct. Um, is, is it relating to yes. items on the agenda? Yes, it's the, the declarations of interest incident. Um, would it be possible that um, the two members remaining could comment directly to Rockland County Council so the Council's views are represented uh, on their website or via email? Or could the Chairman consider that those items are deferred to next week's Council meeting? Because I know that the agenda hasn't been published yet. Yeah, well, I don't I've, think we'll get an extension. We're always quite tight. But if, if the extension can't be granted and it's not enough time, then it won't be able to next week's meeting. The, the, the extensions were um, for today. They need yeah, to so they can't go next week. Yeah. But if you could maybe consider as a Chairman and Michael yep. and stand on there. Yep. Ones, yeah. the, people, the, the people who yeah. don't have an interest, well, they can even if they have an interest, there's nothing stopping them actually still making a comment about something. Absolutely. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just, just, just a thought. I wonder if you would have delegated powers. You have delegated powers during the certain months of the year because mm. of holidays. And I wonder whether you, you could use delegated powers, you yourself. Mm. And, and, and put in a view. Okay. That's a one thing to look into that, for, that's the, the, for the future meetings. Well, 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 even now, then that yeah. gets it down and dusted. Because what we normally have done in the past, that councils, like during the summer season, I would say, councillors have given their comments, and then it goes, and then we usually do the majority yeah. of, and then it will go. So if you want to do that. Because I, I, I think the views of, to run the county council have got to come from the planning subcommittee mm -hmm. or uh, the officers. If, uh, okay, if you're so okay with that. So, you, that so I'll have the comments yep. and then yeah. um, I can... Thank you. Um, Thank you. And then the, the other thing is about um, public deputations. Now that it's been clarified that war councillors can come and the tree warden to this meeting, um, would there not be a point where the chairman could look at the protocol of the meeting so that rather than standing up in public deputation, so if we were needed, because I don't need to today to talk about something and put the view from our ward, that that's slotted in? I think, so that's, that, uh, I think that's got some clearance behind it, to be fair. So then it's... Uh, yeah, there's something to be looked into. Yes, rather than asking at each individual item, yeah. does the ward member have a comment? Yeah. On there, if we could have a slide so for the ward members. So, following deputations of the public or prior to it, we've put in a slot that says deputations to the ward member. Yeah, if there is ever, very, very, there isn't very often, but there might be. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, we'll take that back to the full council. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Moving on, planning application. Have we all had a chance to look at the uh, applications in full? Yep. Uh, visited the sites if need be. Um, so we move on to item number one in the planning applications, which is a two story extension on 52 Nashville Road. Uh, it's a huge block. Mm. So it's a two story extension and it is a large plot. The, um, I've not put the photographs on the, <coughs> on the website. Did you, have you seen the photos? Yes. Yeah. Anybody want to uh, open it up with the comments? It looks straightforward to me, quite honestly. It's not it's out of keeping it in the area. Yeah. No, it's not. Um, it's a huge, huge part. It's not going to inter interfere with the neighbours. That there hasn't been any complaints. No, 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 I agree with that. I could look at it earlier this morning. It's facing in a direction which doesn't uh, impose and or affect anyone in the line of sight. Proposed by Snap. Seconded by Michael. All those in favour? Carried. No comments that we want to add to the um, sending to Britain County Council, apart from just accepting the full. Well, we could say that the being, being such a large project, it's, it's, it's not intervening with any neighbour, and therefore we feel justified in. Okay. It, 
more sensitive yeah. than we have this. Yeah. Just yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll let you write that down if you need to do anything. Don't ask me to repeat it. <laughs> That's the advantage of being recorded. <laughs> that is the advantage of being recorded. Yeah. Can you play it back instantly? <laughs> no, unfortunately not. <laughs> okay, item number two. Add utility room to the rear of garage on number 26, Lean Crescent. And again, is everybody familiar with the site? Um, again, to me, it's uh, it's no different to what's been put on existing. Um, and a neighbour wrote in uh, with no objection. Again, to me, it's I've got no problems whatsoever in housing this. No, I second. I second. Yeah. Proposed by me, seconded by uh, staff. All those in favour? Carried. Okay, item number three. So we're discussing this, but we can't give a. <coughs> you give me the comments. Yeah, okay. So item number three demolition of garage and conservatory extension, two store extension to the side of house, and separate two store extension to the rear of house, and new car port 15 Stamford Road. Okay, is everybody familiar with the site? Yes, it goes down back onto the. Farm Park yeah. Field, Cat's Farm, Farm Park Field. It's the third house along from uh, campus offices oh, and, yeah, yeah. on the right to go out. Yeah. Again, it's in a situation where the overlooking properties are surrounded by trees. Okay. Um, well, um, to me, I believe, again, that the this would enhance the picture view of the uh, street, and uh, I've got no concerns with the street. Yeah. Yep. So we'd like to propose it, please. Oh, oh, not oh sorry. Not. Those are the, the comments. So can you just show me the comments then? That we, um, what did I say? <laughs> it, it, would improve, it, would, it wouldn't deteriorate from the street scene, and uh, with Surrounded by trees, so that, 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 trees. Does, that doesn't interfere with the properties. properties. And um, we would that support that. it in common wise. We just meant to say detract and not deteriorate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> okay. Something to do with the beacon light and just making my head speak. That's not what I said, how would you? Yeah, really bad news. <laughs> Six dwellings with ancillary changes, number seven Westgate. There are already six post boxes on the outside of that building. One, yes. two, three, four, five, six, and have been for a few months. What, what does that does that tell us? Anything? As far as I was aware, the property uh, next door to it was a private dwelling, and. Um, that was offices, I was just led to believe. But which, which when you just said that, which did you mean? You're looking at it, so when we had the plan up, it was to the to the high street side. Alright. That's the south end. Um, east end. Have we got any more details on actually? the interior of the property. And then was, there, was there a comment at all, Alison, from the neighbour? I think there was, but I couldn't get into it if there was. Oh, gee, yeah. Is this oh, no, that's it, that's it. Seems to, in which case, what exactly are we? 
and what's the date on this one? <coughs> um, 5th of April um, 16 days. Right. So. Is that received by the county council? So we could if we wanted to. Yeah, that's received here, so that's fine. Right. So the, the, the way I looked at it was that the structure of the building is not going to change. The yeah. outside structure is not going to change no. at all. It's only the people living inside. It's only the internal side of things. Um, and I don't see how it's going to alter the process of coming and going. Mm. No parking. Restricted parking. Well, there's only, there's only uh, a few bays out front which have got uh, limited parking on them. What do you say the front? Do you mean on the actually on the road on Westgate itself? Yes. Um, very few. But there's very one few there. There's one disabled. Um, so, but I mean, if six people, if it's already got six lanes, then then so the parking it, thing is exactly, irrelevant. Exactly. So it is just on the key as to uh, are we simply. Condoning authorising something that's already happened, or is it a change? Well, well the, the change of use from private dwellings to six dwellings, it may have been set aside uh, as those six dwellings prior to this, and they're actually going through the official process. I'm unsure of, because I'm with you, I've seen um, those, boxes. those boxes. So <coughs> it's like Stan's already said, it's not going to change the, the outlook of the building, it's not going to change the street scene at all. The only thing that it will cause a problem with is car parking. If yeah. around the corner is a car park. Around the corner is a car park. And it won't even cause that incremental problem if it's already been happening in no. the time. Yeah. Depending whether it's been used. The situation so, hasn't, isn't, isn't going to change really. No. Yeah. And there's, there's some four spaces there for car parking so the only thing that I wonder about is it, it's a change in use mm. and, and as such it's not identified as a change of use at all in no. this application. And that's the bit that I couldn't get any clarification on to be fair. Um, and I wonder whether we could say we genuinely approve because the situation isn't going to change from um, what it is at the moment. However, um, we do wonder whether there should be a change of use, which isn't shown in the application. Something like that. Mm -hmm. I, don't think I, I don't think I would put my name to passing it at all at the moment, because for lack of information, so. Yeah. And I mean, it's not difficult to say whether it's already six, whether the conversion's already happened or not. Mm -hmm. I don't know, is that possible to get? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, um, if it's already been done, it would have been a retrospective. Yeah. 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 But it's not come through as retrospective, no, it's, it's not to change from private dwellings yeah. into six dwellings uh, with ancillary changes. Shall I propose we defer this one until we gain more information? Further clarification will be yet. We need to identify then what we need to have clarified. Yeah, well, we need to identify whether it is a retrospective um, dwelling change or whether it is a new change and what those changes actually are within the um, building itself. Does that make sense? Within the building itself and, and any impact on parking? Yeah, well on the, on the plan view there you can see that this floor space has been allocated to the side of it. Does that mean then that the, the wide gate, uh, uh, as you look at it, with this going on your right, the wide gate at, right on the bend of that road is also to do with the building we're talking about? No, as far as I'm aware, that's, that's not, that's a different... That's the only access point there, isn't it? Where's the access to the... On the, on the bend, where it curves in. What, in Westgate? Go back so, to the Westgate plan. Road plan. Oh, yeah. um, yes, it is. 
The new driver will be installed to give access to the real, rear garden to provide four additional parking spaces with the two spaces at the front. To provide six. one parking <coughs> space per dwelling. So that so, answers that question. Thanks.
with matching wood material, repaint matching to match existing, replace and repair window, sorry, wood and shop front as necessary and repaint to match existing. Having looked at this, um, actually I think this will improve the street seat because yeah. the, the blue wood uh, paint is flaking and looking in a bit of a sad state of play. Um, that stands out like a sore thumb. It does, yeah, and it, it does look tired. Yeah. And I think they're prepared to enhance the street scene like a lot of other shop fronts yeah. do. Um, any other comments? No, I don't know what I can read. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'd be prepared to propose it because I, yeah. think, I think we can state it does increase the, it will increase increase the street yeah. scene. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> proposed by Stan. Seconded. Seconded by Michael. All those in favour? Yeah. Carried. Uh, right, have we got any reference from our tree wall yes. regarding? Yeah, can I read out this one? Yes, you can do, please. Look, this is from Joyce, all three I think. Um, this has been an ongoing problem. The residents have tried on several occasions to have these trees removed. There is insufficient evidence that anything has changed. They are mature trees and extremely tall against the small bungalow. However, I would recommend some clearing out of dead branches and nothing more. Mm. With our photographs. Yeah, which item was that? Hang on, no, sorry, she's, these are all mixed. She's, Joyce has done them the other way around. Oh, this is spring. Sorry, we're, we're doing Brook Road at the minute. Sorry, which is at the bottom. Joyce, is, Joyce hasn't done them in order, so oh, sorry, sorry, I'm just saying so, that's my question. I'm sorry, because this one makes reference to general pruning. And the removal of ivy. Um, <laughs> so the broad road one. Sorry, it's just that, so, sorry, it's just that um, she pictures. says to approve all work. Yeah. yeah. I again, um, I've got no problem with that. I propose that we accept that one. Yeah. Yeah. Second. Seconded by Stan. All those in favour. What's the next one? As, next. as it's in my my walk, can I make a comment? The bail. Very quickly. Um, I don't object, but. Um, could it be possible, as in our measures of improvements of um, liaising with Rutland County Council on this, that the tree wardens' comments are included yeah. with whatever's sent? Yeah, fair point. I think she would be very happy for that to um, Can we, happen. You've got a copy of those. Can you copy and paste yeah, those? Yeah, I think so. Just put down uh, <coughs> tree, tree wardens. Tree, tree wardens, wardens' comments, yeah. Yeah, that's a fair yeah. point. Thank you. I think it bolsters our point over is coming from the tree water. Yeah. So that was carried in full. Um, number eight is the veil. Is the veil. Fire the veil. Fell she, she, one sycamore tree. She says the property has just had a new extension built. The sycamore is a huge mature tree uh, to fell would spoil the streets yet again on Uppingham Road, uh, which is a main approach to the town. Some work could improve. Recommend that the tree is retained and necessary work carried out to keep the tree intact. <coughs> that doesn't say what work, that's the only problem. Um, no. No, you, you could end up with a very, a very cut out of tree. It says that previous work's been carried out, uh, removing and lowering the limbs, and lift and lower the crown. To lift. Can I say that one? No. Um, can I just say something? Well, I live on the road and we had to have our tree, um, it's got TPO on it. Rutland County Council insisted on coming down to give advice on how much. So I'm assuming I'll do the same for that one. Right. That's a good suggestion. Yeah. That would be a pretty good suggestion to prefer. Yeah. Has it, this one got a TPO on it? I would say it does. Well, but it's on Uppingham Road. I'm not, I don't know. I mean, mine, it's just thinking where the veil is. The veil is. Oh, uh, that's as you go into um, so you the cricket lawns. So if it's on. Turn left and left again. It's right at the end. Oh, it might not. Yeah. It's, so so right, if, it's on it's to the, if it's on to Uppingham Road, I um, don't know then. Because the veil, I'm not sure. Well, you turn, yeah, but you go into the turning off up in the road. Yeah. Uh, and then left fairly quickly so is the veil. Yeah. Which 
So the right goes around to the tennis court, yeah. and, it, and left at that point, doubles back towards Upping Road, Right. And this property is right at the end of that. Oh, uh, right. So, and in that sense, thinning the trees no, out would be. <coughs> no, this is all we've got for the application. It's probably fair to say that Joyce wouldn't disagree if she was here that sycamores generally are self certain. Mm. And on the other hand, this has got the size it is and mm. achieved yeah, the, the authority that it's got. Sorry, sorry, Mark. The comment I would make about this it's purely and simply an application. There's no photographs, no. there's nothing else. I would be happy to go along with your suggestion, which is proposed that the um, tree warden, or tree, sorry, tree officer from the planning department actually makes a visit mm. with some suggestions because um, we're not in a position to uh, make that sort of judgment on the information that we've got. But yeah. so that's against the background of Doug Fell. Yes. Let yeah. him recommend yes. the yeah. work to yeah. 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 work carried out, yeah. 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 So, do you want me to propose that? Thanks for just... Yeah, fine. You repeat on that. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of lack of information um, that the... And then I'll give the comments that we don't want the tree warden recommends that it's not fell, and that the um, officer from RCC recommends we work to be carried out. Yep, in detail. Yeah, yeah. 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 But it would, it would have been nice to have a photo. Mm -hmm. Yes. You've got a little drawing there, T1. Yeah. Even a drawing. You say the drawings, you see. Yeah, so that's, that's my proposal. Um, somebody got to second it. Oh, second. second it. All those in favour? Carried. Thank you very much. And the last one is 1X number 9. And the tree warden's report on that, please. Um, that's Spring Way. Yeah. That's the Spring Way. Right. Right. Yeah. This has been going on, this has been an ongoing problem. The residents have tried on several occasions to have these trees removed. Uh, there is insufficient evidence that anything has changed. They are mature trees and extremely tall against the small bunker. However, I would recommend some clearing out of dead branches and nothing else. And there, there we are. Um, the, the tree warden did say to me um, that the applicants um, like it says on there, I've asked on several occasions and the reasons being weren't very um, substantial. What the I mean, like the birds are messing on the washing and <laughs> stuff like that. Mm. What the seeds <laughs> are represent is that, that a load of has been been put in the, in the wrong place and someone's bought the property hoping they're going to cut the trees down and it's not working. Yeah. It's mm, And if they, if they are sufficiently protected, they're never going to succeed. But it makes a statement in the application that the trees are significant deadwood and are in decline. Um, I would suggest that um, we would use the same comment or similar comment yeah. regarding the, um, the tree officer from the County Council to go down there and give a full assessment. Yes. Because based on the green shady bit on that map, it's a little bit better than T1. Um, That's not showing us anything. No. Uh, I would propose that we do something similar so we get a fuller report from the okay. County Council before we can actually. We would we'll, we'll ask them for their recommendations as well. Yeah. All those, is that, that's a proposal from me. Seconded from Michael. All those in favour? Carried. So done. Thank you very much. Alison, do you want that choice? Is uh, oh, no, or you can leave it on in the bin. I've got to pick up the It is now 10 40. Okay. I thank you for your time. What time has the beacon been lit? The beacon has been lit. Do you want to set it on? We're just closing the meeting now. Good night at 10 40. Uh, we are. We're closed.